Hello everyone and welcome back to Gran Turismo 7. Today we will be collecting Chevrolets as part of the next menu book. So uh, we've already got the C3 Corvette uh, but we also need the C4 uh, as well as the C7. Uh, unfortunately the C4 is not the Grand Sport. Very sad times. Uh, but nonetheless uh, three very awesome cars and much better than the ones we were collecting last time. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, yeah, without further ado, let's just uh, get into it and uh, see what we need to do to unlock these cars. So we will be competing in the American Clubman Cup 700 event, uh, the first race of which uh, is at Special Stage Route X, or Route 10 uh, if you like, and uh, we will be driving the Camaro uh, with a very long name that I've forgotten. Uh, anyway, uh, let's just get going, this should have a plenty of power this car, so Hopefully we can go well here at Special Stage uh, Route X. So uh, to the right as we are going to be uh, searching for as much slipstream as we can in this event because, uh, well, slipstream is king uh, around this circuit. Uh, but it looks like we have a lot of pace, hello. Um, but yeah, let's see how it goes as uh, we are rapidly making our way through the uh, back markers of the field. Uh, it'll be interesting to see the top speed comparison between uh, our car and our rivals but uh, at the moment we are going well and uh, absolutely smashing through the field so hopefully that can continue as we're now up into sixth position and uh, very quickly going to make that five and uh, just trying to maximize every bit of slipstream that we can as uh, we are uh, ducking and weaving between all of the cars and uh, gaining a lot of straight line speed here this is uh, very quick in a straight line this car we're up to 330 kilometers an hour and then some so this is a absolutely blistering pace we are going now as we're up into third position let's see if we can catch the leaders uh, but they are a little bit further up so hopefully we can get there as uh, we're now almost up to 350 kilometers an hour we're reaching f1 car level top speeds here down the straight so this is absolutely incredible top speed from this car uh, which is amazing but it's uh, going to be a little bit tight whether we can catch up I think we will uh, it looks like we are gaining uh, so let's hope that uh, that we can continue uh, to do that and that we will make the pass for second position the leader further up though so uh, it'll be interesting to see if we can catch them but uh, not a lot to do around this circuit it's got to be said uh, though I don't really mind too much uh, racing around here uh, it is fun to do on occasion and uh, just checking up on them in the slipstream doesn't look like they're gaining on us so uh, that is good and uh, there's the leader just heading around the bend now so it looks like we are gaining against the race leader so let's see if we can continue uh, to close that gap we're definitely not gaining as quickly as we were on uh, the other cars around us so it will be interesting to see whether we can get there or not I think we'll be able to but yeah it will be a little bit a little bit of a tougher challenge than uh, all the other ones uh, then again, there's not a lot of challenge to this circuit. It is literally just uh, two very slight bends in two very long straights. Um, so yeah, that uh, is uh, yeah not a lot of uh, skill required, I suppose. Unless you're doing a one make race, then I guess uh, there would be a lot of a lot of skill involved. But uh, no, in uh, an event like this, you just need the best top speed. There's no other way no other way around it. So. Yeah, we are gaining on the leader though, so I think we will get there as I have been uh, just trying to fill in time here until we can close the gap. But uh, we are closing the gap and uh, now we are uh, within range 351 kilometers an hour now. We have broken the 350 and uh, now in the slipstream gaining and gaining on the car in front 354 kilometers an hour, 355 as we are racing down the straight and now deep into the slipstream we pull out almost 360 kilometers an hour and we go blazing past there and uh, I cannot believe the top speed of this car it is absolutely insane we have to watch out though because uh, they may get a run on us in the slipstream we'll see how it goes as uh, they now duck in will they be fast enough in a straight line it looks like they're very close to matching our speed and yes they are gaining so we're gonna have to be very careful here we'll have to time everything right and make sure we are leading at the right moment uh, at the finish line so we'll see what we can do here they go to the left as we have to just wait our turn once again we'll duck in to the slipstream and we'll go uh, once again for another challenge and uh, we didn't get a great run there 
So uh, this will be a good side-by-side -side battle to see what our raw speed is for both of us uh, without slipstream. And it looks like we have the edge uh, just about, but it's not by a lot as uh, we both turn our headlights off along the straight as we exit the tunnel. Uh, it's a cool little uh, automated feature there that uh, we should be focusing on the race as they have uh, well and truly uh, tucked into the slipstream behind us. We're weaving across the road but they're going to follow us so we're not going to shake them off too easily as uh, we are desperately just trying and trying to break the toe. If we can do anything to, uh, to stop them getting a run on us, uh, we're going to run the car right down on the inside, actually onto the apron, uh, just taking the absolute shortest line we possibly can uh, around this long right-hander and hopefully that will just about give us the edge uh, on the way to the line and uh, stop them from getting past and uh, just hoping that they're not going to run down this low in the slipstream and, and uh, keep the throttle pinned that, pin down. So as we uh, now come towards the exit of the corner, I think we have done enough to hold them off. But uh, there was actually a little bit of uh, tactical racing towards the end of that one. Do not hit the pit wall because that's something I have done before at this circuit. But no, we have uh, survived a lap of Rutex and we're going to come home in the lead. And uh, that was a little closer than uh, what I expected it to be. But nonetheless, we got the job done and that's first place for us. And there is the Corvette C7 that we get as a reward. Alrighty then, we will now move on to the final of the two races we need to do in the Clubman, Clubman Cup 700. There is a third, but we don't actually need to do it because we've already got the old Corvette uh, C3. Uh, but anyway, this one is to win the C4. It is our Daytona road course, so let's get rolling. And uh, we'll see what we can do here as uh, we go for a little bit of a, a barge on the back of the Mustang there. Move him out of the way and uh, he can uh, go explore the runoff area for a while as uh, we have more important things to do at the moment and uh, have made our way past him up into 11th position so uh, good start let's continue to push forwards getting the first uh, uh, what are they called horseshoes uh, of the two horseshoes I think they're called uh, getting that one a bit wrong but nonetheless we continue to push on and uh, we'll have a lot of straight line speed here. We'll slice up the inside and we'll go for a big, big dive up the inside. We get a stop, so we roll it into the corner and a uh, bit of contact made at the apex. But anyway, we make the move stick and we've moved ourselves now up another two spots uh, in quick succession. Now, as uh, we are gaining on the Corvette, uh, or at least the Corvette Grand Sport liveried uh, Corvette, doesn't say Grand Sport in uh, the tag above it. Actually, it's not quite the Grand Sport livery, it has. Uh, look like the American flag on the side there so uh, just the central stripe of the Grand Sport uh, but nonetheless uh, we will continue to fly past the field as they are very slow on the exit of uh, the first of the banked corners here and uh, we are absolutely smashing our way through the field we're a bit late on the brakes into the uh, chicane along the back straight getting that all kinds of wrong as we now cut across the grass but we're okay we're, we're good to continue as uh, we've moved ourselves up into the top five now so great start to the race uh, despite it being a little bit messy we may be able to grab fourth place here as uh, we'll go blazing around the outside we have a ton of straight line speed uh, around Daytona so uh, that is a great news we have good acceleration we know we have good top speed uh, from the uh, from the Route X uh, race not that we'll really need it here we'll be about 50 k shy of our top speed as uh, we give it a little nudge uh, into the old Corvette. Uh, he gets away with it though, no elbowing him off the road. But anyway, uh, surprised to see that old car uh, this far up the field. He's obviously got some uh, upgrades on it <laughs> to be uh, running, uh, well he was running in the podium places with the motor him down to fourth place now, but that old Corvette uh, still has plenty of fire obviously uh, underneath that bonnet. And uh, yeah, that is uh, interesting to see because uh, I can't imagine it handling too great. I remember driving those old Corvettes in Gran Turismo 1 that was a long time ago and a very different type of Gran Turismo game back then but god they were horrible things <laughs> uh, to try to control um, but they were very quick. Now uh, let's focus back on this race and uh, we are moving ourselves up into second position and uh, we now have the race leader in sight uh, once again so uh, in just the space of two laps uh, we have uh, passed most of the field and we may be able to get the very last one 
uh, right now as uh, we enter the back straight. Going to go for the move down the inside into the chicane. Let's hope we can get it uh, sort of right this time. Going a little bit deep, bit hot. They try and go around the outside. Bit of contact on the apex and we've completely made a mess of the second half of that chicane. I think I was a bit distracted there. But anyway, we're back on circuit and still in second position. So uh, in the end, it all kind of worked out even as uh, they got back in front. But we'll see if we can make a re-overtaking move here as uh, we are in the slipstream gaining a lot of speed and we will well, just go for the push instead of uh, getting past. Uh, but we will make the move soon enough as uh, we are really pushing them along. Uh, but we will go for the dive up the inside, squeeze them into the wall a little bit. But uh, the job's done and uh, we can now move on to the end of the race. So here we come then towards the line, we're way out in front of the field and uh, this was actually a pretty easy win in this one. But the job's done and uh, now uh, we will have the other Corvette uh, in our possession to complete the trio. And uh, that is a job done uh, for this menu book. So knocking one out uh, already uh, in this one. So hopefully we can get through maybe a few more menu books in this one. Uh, maybe, maybe, we have, maybe we'll be able to get through three. Uh, this time hopefully but uh, there it is the old Corvette uh, rolling up there and uh, that completes the collection alrighty then so here we are back at the cafe and there it is collection Chevrolet complete and uh, that is a job done uh, so let's see what we get we get a roulette ticket four star roulette ticket very nice so uh, that is awesome uh, let's actually go use that now. So what is it going to be? Four stars. Hopefully, surely, this will be something good. A four-star roulette ticket. I see a car on the left there. Uh, if we are lucky enough to get that. Uh, what is that? Oh, it's a invitation to buy Ferraris. Okay. Um, to be honest, I'm actually not too fussed about Ferraris or... Any of those European cars, to be honest. Give me a Civic and I'll be happy. But just for the sake of clarity, it's not an invitation to buy Ferraris in general. Uh, it is specifically for uh, these three, which I suppose are usually locked behind this invitation. Uh, which are the Ferrari, the Ferrari, the Enzo Ferrari, and the Ferrari FXXK. Uh, to be fair, I would buy the Enzo uh, if I had the money, but the other two I don't really care about too much. Anyway, back to the cafe because we have Corvettes to learn about. Chevrolet's Corvette and Camaro are widely considered to be among the most quintessential American sports cars. The Chevrolet brand was established in 1911 and named for one of its founders, Louis Chevrolet. The first car the company produced was the Classic 6, a large vehicle with a straight six engine. Their most famous model, however, is probably the two seater Corvette sports car. The first generation Corvette was unveiled in 1953. And new Corvettes are still being produced today, cementing the car's place as an icon of American motoring. And there we have it, our next menu book. Uh, we need to head to GT Auto and go to Maintenance and Services, services to get a wide-body American car. For some reason, that combination just doesn't work in my head. I, I don't know, I, I can't picture like a wide-body Corvette or Camaro or whatever it might be. Um, but anyway, uh, that is something we have to do. Should we wide-body this Camaro that we've been driving? Uh, it is a decent enough car, so uh, maybe this will be out go-to car for the uh, American races uh, because I presume seeing as it's telling us to do this uh, that there are more American races to come uh, in the fu near future uh, that seems to be what uh, what this is indicating so uh, yeah uh, it, it wouldn't tell you to, to to do this if it wasn't you know for something but anyway uh, yeah get a wide body American car let's head to GT Auto and uh, yeah, I guess we'll wide body this Camaro. Alrighty then, so here we are at GT Auto looking at the preview of 
the wide body Camaro. And uh, I do have to say, it does kind of suit the aggressive look uh, of the car, so uh, yeah, I do like it. And now we get the uh, amazing wide body animation <laughs> of Gran Turismo 7. Uh, just stretching the car to make it wider. And there it is, wide Camaro. <laughs> oh goodness. Anyway, um, yeah, with that done, uh, let's head back to the cafe. Congratulations, you have definitely earned your reward. I don't know what accent that was, but anyway, Luca's voice changes every time, we know that by now. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, let's see what our reward is and what our next uh, task is. Uh, I assume we'll unlock a circuit. I, I didn't actually check. I always forget uh, what the what the uh, prize is for each menu book, but it was a very short one, so I can't imagine we will get too much, but uh, we do get the Autodromo whatever that said, dear Intel Argos, uh, also known as the Autodromo Jose Carlos Pache, or the Brazilian Grand Prix circuit, if you like, uh, to put it in English. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, uh, that is uh, our reward. Let's look at our next menu book, which is the Pan American Championship. So uh, yeah, uh, that will be our next task. Uh, to uh, to finish in the top three in that, and of course, as always, we'll be trying for the win. So, yeah, let's just get into it and see uh, where this championship goes. So after a quick livery change, we are ready to rumble here at Blue Moon Bay Speedway for the first race of the Pan American Championship as the Jets fly over, we're ready to rumble. And wow, we've made a gap for ourselves there on the outside between the wall and the Ford Focus. I mean, that's a, it's an interesting choice of car uh, for this event. Um, I'll just leave it at that. But anyway, uh, we are using, using the wall through turn one there. Uh, but anyway, we'll uh, continue to push on uh, through the field as uh, we've already gained a couple of spots uh, nice and easy through here and uh, we're up into 11th already so uh, making good progress, a little bit hot into there and we're losing the rear end and okay that's not gone well, we've gone for a spin there and it's just all gone horribly wrong maybe the Ford Focus wouldn't be such a bad choice uh, after all maybe a little more controllable around some of these corners uh, but anyway, we'll push on and see what we can make of it. Nonetheless, we still have some time uh, in the race. Uh, so we'll see what we can do as uh, we head uh, down towards the first corner once more. We're going to need to uh, make use of our speed running techniques uh, to make sure we are competitive uh, after that little uh, mistake there. So uh, we'll make sure we do that as uh, we have already uh, moved ourselves back up into 11th position and uh, now uh, we have our sights set on P10. They're a little way up the road, so uh, they're going to be a little more difficult uh, to catch, but we should be able to get there again. Speed running tactics through the final corner, and uh, now we have uh, a clear view of the uh, top 10 runners. So hopefully we can grab a few of them at the first corner. We've got good momentum here as we cross the stripe uh, just to start another lap. Uh, trying to make some space for ourselves around the outside there. Lost a bit of momentum in doing so, but we get a lot of overtakes done there around the outside. We've moved ourselves up into sixth position already, so uh, good progress. We just need to keep pushing and uh, make sure we uh, utilize uh, the pace that we have. So uh, 
uh, let's continue to march forward as uh, we run nice and low through uh, turn two. Uh, no need to uh, speed run tactic through that corner, but nice and quick through the final corner, running right up against the wall. And uh, we move ourselves all the way up into fourth position as uh, we now approach the later stages of this a very short race, uh, but still a few laps to go as uh, we once again uh, will utilize uh, the outside line and actually a big hit into the wall there. We uh, made a bit of contact with some other cars, a little bit wayward running down the track there to save it, but we're up into the lead now. So we've, uh, we've actually got the job done pretty early. So we can now move on to the end of the race. We'll come across the line uh, to win the first race of the Pan American Championship uh, here at Blue Moon Bay Speedway. Race two of the championship, and we head to Daytona Road Course once again. Uh, so we've done well in this car here before. Uh, all we've done since then is the wide body and the new livery, so uh, I imagine uh, it shouldn't be too hard to have the uh, same success here once again. So uh, we'll see how it goes as we uh, get moving for another race. We're away from the rolling start and uh, we'll immediately go for the move down the inside of the Focus who is uh, just here for the last I think uh, at this point as uh, the Jets flying over a little bit late there we kind of missed the uh, missed the show <laughs> but anyway uh, we are not going to worry about that because we have uh, cars to overtake we actually had a bit of a fight on our hands there uh, with the Focus but anyway we made our way through sooner or later and uh, we've moved ourselves up into uh, 14th position so a uh, little bit of a, a difficult start uh, to this one, but anyway, we'll push on and uh, we'll a little bit out of control there as uh, we head into the second right-hander up the inside of the other little Ford who's uh, just here having fun uh, to hold people up, it seems, there. Uh, but nonetheless, we get through and uh, move ourselves up into 12th position. So good progress through the field so far, and uh, now we will... Uh, gradually continue uh, to do so as uh, we are now in our territory look at the straight line speed this car has so much power and uh, yeah we just uh, monster our way past everyone with uh, the, the, uh, the straight line performance uh, of the car now as uh, we duck into the sleep stream briefly we don't really need it though late on the brakes into the chicane this has been a trouble spot on the circuit but we get through there okay on this occasion uh, with uh, the improved handling of this car. Well, I say that we have a bit of a moment on the exit, but nonetheless, we continue and uh, keep things mostly under control now into the top 10 and we'll immediately make that eighth position as we gain another two spots through the uh, banking of the final couple of turns uh, of the NASCAR circuit. And uh, we will uh, move ourselves up into seventh by the time we complete the first lap. So not as quick a pro process of uh, progress uh, one of those words is right, <laughs> um, as uh, as um, the uh, the previous uh, race here. But nonetheless, uh, we will continue to move our way forwards, and I think we'll still be able to get to the lead by the end. Uh, but anyway, uh, we are now uh, knocking on the rear bumper of the Mustang, just about there, just uh, narrowly avoiding contact uh, as we uh, went through. The uh, first uh, of the sharp right-handers on the infield course around the outside. It's a bit sketchy out here, and we just drop a wheel in the dirt on the exit. We're desperately trying to keep things under control, but we just about managed to do so, and uh, we were able to make that, make that overtake work, but that was high risk, and that could have easily ended up uh, with us in the barriers. But thankfully, we, able, we were able to keep the car pointing in the forward direction, and uh, now we're into the top six and uh, homing, homing in on uh, another pair of contenders in front of us through the banking now we're going to pick up some good speed here and uh, we should be able to just slingshot past these two uh, with relative ease and uh, there's one and uh, we'll soon get past the other bang position and up into fourth place now down the inside big dive can we make it stick late on the brakes bit of contact made as we biff and barge our way through but we've got the job done and moved ourselves up into the podium position now so up into third uh, so that's a great uh, progress through the race now as uh, we focus on the top two soon to be the top one as we're going to make a move to the inside 
and uh, that was nice and easy. Now just one car left in front of us uh, who is uh, going to very quickly uh, be in second position as uh, we are blazing along nice and quick. Big dive up the inside and oh we've massively hit the inside wall there going full Yuri Vips into that corner but nonetheless we somehow end, in, end out in front and uh, we've taken the lead uh, with, uh, with that overtake so uh, now we just need to bring it home uh, to the finish line. On to the final lap here and you can see the sun has set uh, in Daytona and we're now racing uh, in basically full darkness uh, a lot of lights around this circuit to keep things nice and bright unfortunately not bright enough for us to see where we're going clearly and uh, we end up uh, barreling ourselves off the road hopefully we still have enough in hand to take the victory as uh, we get to back on circuit this is going to be close no we're, we're fine <laughs> uh, but that was a bit of a moment we didn't really need to have uh, just pushing a little through the final chicane but nonetheless we have, we've managed to hold on to the lead they're nowhere near us so uh, we're going to be just fine and uh, we'll be good good to uh, take the win here at Daytona but uh, a bit of a scare there at the last moment we've got so much pace in this car it is mega mega quick so across the line and uh, that is a job done 360 for style points and uh, we keep it off the wall as well which is nice Although that wasn't me driving, that was the AI after that point, but uh, that's kind of cool nonetheless. But anyway, job done, win in the second race at Daytona, let's move on to the next round. Alright, the final round of the championship then, and we are heading to South America for the race in Brazil. So, uh, let's just get cracking uh, for this one. Uh, love this track in the F1 game. Uh, we'll see how it goes in in Gran Turismo. Uh, so yeah, we've won the first two races. Hopefully we can do the same here. So let's get racing for the final time in this little championship. And uh, let's go. And immediately, again, gaining a lot of speed uh, right off the launch. We'll go to the outside and uh, turning in a little bit <laughs> in their way there. As, uh, we weren't fully clear but nonetheless we make the move and uh, gain that spot next we will try and sneak to the inside yes we'll find some space there and that is us up into 13th position little gap on the right will make us up into 12th position and uh, we will just continue uh, with this momentum hopefully uh, definitely not carrying as much speed through these corners as uh, in uh, the F1 game though I have to say this car still feels better than uh, the soft tyres did at Suzuka. <laughs> um, uh, so that is something. But uh, anyway, there you go. Uh, continuing, we will try and make a move. We're catching up at a bit of an awkward time here. We'll go to the left and down the inside and make our way up into the top 10. So decent progress. Uh, again, we're probably on target to win this race. So uh, not too... Uh, not in too much of a hurry, just want to keep things clean for the time being. A little bit of an awkward line through there, but uh, the power on the exit will help us uh, make up for lost time there. Can we make a move to the inside here at the final corner? Is it going to be a bit late? We'll just have to go uh, for the move along the straight, and uh, we'll get uh, the power down here on the exit around the outside, and uh, that is a job done. We move up into ninth position, and uh, P8. Uh, not much further ahead so uh, we'll stay on board uh, for the time being as we are rapidly gaining in a straight line the horsepower advantage very visible to see there in fact it's a fight for 7th and 8th position and uh, they currently uh, reside in the same positions they were just a moment ago as we will try and line up a nice exit uh, quite similar liveries on these cars it has to be said uh, one with the double stripe but one with the single and uh, a few other little details on the Grand Sport liveried car-ish. Anyway, <laughs> moving on then, uh, we now are uh, up into 7th position, soon to make that 6th as uh, we give the Ford Mustang a customary whack on the way past and uh, we move ourselves up uh, and into 6th position now, so making good progress through the field and that sunshine on uh, on the, the pointed nose are very distracting <laughs> um, and uh, we run a little wide there but we'll get back on track and very soon be making another move and another position not quite close enough to go up the inside here so we're going to have to try and sneak through somewhere else we'll 
go to the outside, bit of a moment on the exit, but we keep things pointing in the right direction and uh, move ourselves up into fifth position. P4 up next as we go a little bit wide, getting distracted there and looking backwards when we should have been looking forwards. So we've lost a bit of ground to the top four, but they're all line astern up there, so uh, it should just be bang, 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 bang once we get there and we'll overtake all of them at once. So we'll see, they're a bit far back on the straight to uh, maybe get all of them, but we may be able to get one or two towards the end of it if uh, we get uh, a nice run through here. Unfortunately, we're a little bit wide on the exit, but you can see the horsepower and the speed building now as we have a look to the outside and we'll get through on the first two and uh, we'll have to get the others along with the Ressa Aposta straight as uh, we now head into the braking zone to turn one. Once again, the center chicanes fight for the lead side by side through there and we're going to try and line up a nice late apex here and uh, now we've got nowhere to go we've got too good of a run we're off onto the grass on the inside and uh, we're just uh, going to ignore what just happened there and we'll see if we can make a move for the lead as we're still trying to fight for second position here but down the inside we go and uh, that is a job done up into the lead a little bit deep but we just about keep it under control and uh, we We'll now move on to the end of the race. Oh, we've got a bit tangled up there. We won't move on yet because we're out of control. And sideways across the road, we'll just about keep it out of the barriers. Bit of contact with a few other cars there, but uh, now we have plenty of work to do again as uh, we again get moving. Uh, let's hope we can make up for lost time there because uh, we don't have a ton of time left in this race. We'll actually, yeah, I lie, we're halfway through the race. We, we will have time to, to get back through, but that has added an extra element of challenge to this one as uh, we slot in behind the Viper we'll have a look to the left hand side and uh, we'll make our way around the outside of this left hand uh, we must have been very close to dropping a wheel in the dirt on the left hand side there and again on the exit uh, out using all the curb but nonetheless we get the move done now so let's chase down uh, that top pack once again uh, we're gonna go around the outside here. Yes, we will and a little bit off circuit on the exit dropping two wheels in the dirt But nonetheless we get the job done and move ourselves up and into fourth position uh, Once again, so now bearing down on the podium runners Let's see if we can make anything of it as uh, we are once again gaining ridiculous amounts of speed The horsepower is insane big dive up the oh, that's okay. That didn't quite go to plan we're out of control in the breaker zone, running a little bit too deep there, and uh, we'll have to slot back into uh, line as we cross the track rather than re-entering it there. So uh, well out of control, but we are uh, still within range of the race lead, and we're up into second position uh, through all of that out of control driving. So uh, that hasn't worked out too badly for us. So chasing down the leader now on the penultimate lap of the race and we'll see if we can get through potentially into the next right hand it will be a good opportunity in fact we might just get it done along the straight here we'll look to the right that was a bit awkward not sure which uh, way they were going there but nonetheless we get through and back into the lead and this time uh, we will hold it through to the end of the race as we take the victory here in brazil and uh, that is a job done we win all three races of the championship and uh, that was a uh, fairly easy one this car is amazing so yeah uh, that is uh, that is it for this championship so uh, let's just collect uh, our prizes then uh, we get another twisty trophy for our collection as well as 70,000 credits for our efforts there and we get another random prize car unfortunately all the options are Porsches uh, which makes me sad because I'm not a huge fan of Porsches but anyway, we get the 911 GT3 99709. So, uh, yeah, that's, um, that's something. Um, Porsche, what do you, why do you name things like this? You're worse than Microsoft, goodness sake. Anyway, we get that car, so uh, I guess that's cool. So, anyway, let's head back to the cafe. Excellent work, you have won the Pan American Championship. Oh, Luca, you're getting into opera singing now, it seems. Very interesting. All right, we get a four-star roulette ticket as our reward for that. And, uh, oh. Upgrade your Porsche is our next menu book. Sad times. Okay, we, we're we going to have to use that Porsche, I guess. Ah, uh, well, well, that's next next episode's problem. Uh, we'll spin that roulette ticket and see what we get. Four stars, so surely this will be the one where we get something good. 
surely. I mean, <laughs> we've, uh, I feel like we had terrible luck. I, I, I'm doubting whether the, the odds for each, you know, each of the five options are actually equal. I feel like you have a better chance of getting the lower ones at this point, but maybe I've just been unlucky. We've got uh, a car on the left. Maybe we'll be lucky enough to get that. No, we get the big pile of money. Honestly, I'll take it. What is it? Tell me. 30,000. <laughs> it's not bad, honestly. Compared to the 2,000s and 5,000s we've been getting from a lot of these, uh, I'll take it. But yeah, that is uh, just about going to do it for this one. Um, so yeah, I'll say thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I really do appreciate it. Uh, feel free to give me some feedback in the comments. Uh, it's always very helpful. Uh, other than that, um, I will just quickly mention F1 22 is uh, right around the corner. Uh, depends where in the world you're watching this. It's probably out today, um, tomorrow as of the, the time of recording. But uh, by the time this goes out, it will probably be uh, uh, already released. So uh, yeah, uh, I won't be making videos on it straight away because I need to finish off the F1 2021 uh, career mode. I've got two races left in that, uh, of which I haven't recorded either. Uh, but uh, yeah, they will be uh, coming out very soon, and then we'll move on to F1 at 22. Can't wait for it. Uh, I'm very, very excited. Um, but yeah, as for Gran Turismo, they will, uh, the Gran Turismo videos will still be steadily uh, coming out uh, whenever uh, I make them, basically. Uh, I, did, I, I, I was trying to stick to a, a Friday schedule, but that just sort of didn't end up happening. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, the, the Gran Turismo videos won't be uh, won't be stopping. They'll still be uh, still be coming out uh, regularly uh, because there's a lot there's a lot I have recorded in it, recorded uh, in this game and uh, I still haven't uploaded. Uh, yeah, like the the stuff you're seeing now is still from the first few days of playing the game. Basically, uh, it's just been yeah. It's a game where you, where you make a lot of progress very very quickly um, and. Uh, when you play games for as many hours of the day as I do, then uh, and only do put, you know make half an hour of video a week on it, uh, it takes a long time to, to catch up. But yeah, anyway, that's enough blah blahing because we're almost out of time. So, <laughs> like I was saying, thanks so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time for more F1 2021 and Gran Turismo and F1 22 as well in the very near future. There's a 360. I'll see you later. Dun, dun, dun.